All right, time to check in again in Carmel. This year's Carmel Marathon is expected to be the largest in the event's 12 year history. And for the second year in a row, the full marathon was completely sold out with the half marathon very close. Our own Justin Kolar has been out there at the, the start and finish line all morning. And Justin, I know by now some of the half marathon runners are some of the fast folks out there are finishing. Yes, Zach, that's right. Some of those half marathoners are now just passing through. And again, I'm pretty sure I heard someone set another course record. And considering that this event's been going on for 12 years, it is so cold this morning, those runners are thriving out there right now. We are joined by one very brave 10K runner, our, our resident speed merchant at Fox 59. You may recognize her, <laughs> Lindsay Eaton. Hey, how was it out there? It wasn't, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. It, it was spitting snow back and forth. It would stop and you thought you were in the clear and then all of a sudden it start right back up. But could have been worse, could have been worse. I know the view from the passenger seat of our news van. I was seeing the snow come and go and then we'd come out here and it'd be a full yeah. snow squall. How did you stay warm out there? Um, I have a couple layers on. Um, you get colder when you stop. And now since I've been stopped for a while, now you're getting a little colder. But once you're moving, you're doing good. Um, when we went under the bridge for the Monon, there was like a row of four little girls giving you a high five. So it, you draw that energy from everyone else. So. There's so many people out here with cowbells and oh, yeah. folks like you out here cheering on for people finishing the half marathon right now. And now you've got some bling. I, I feel like I should say, what are you going to do next? Oh, geez, no, but I know no. the answer. You're working tonight, aren't <laughs> yes, you? I'm working tonight. I'll see you tonight at 10. Yeah. Now we're going to warm up, take a super warm shower. Cheers some of my friends on that are running the half. They should be crossing here in the next 30 minutes or so. Um, and cross our fingers that the snow holds off and it's actually really done yeah. for the day. Well, hey, Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. Yeah, Good times out there. We'll yeah. see you later. Thank you. All right, yeah. see you guys. Yeah, so guys, we are still waiting to see some of those, uh, more of those half marathon runners and the full marathon runners coming up here in just a little bit, I'm sure, setting new course records. People here from 43 different states. I saw some people shivering out here and people from the north like me up in Michigan. This is great weather for them. So we'll catch up with some more people in the coming minutes or so. But we're reporting live downtown Carmel this morning for the Carmel Marathon. I'm Justin Kolar, Fox 59 News. Justin, thanks. Yeah, long day for Lindsay. She'll be back here tonight for the news at 10 here on Fox 59. Way to go.